and welcome to yet another episode, short video, whatever you want to call it, on Film Sandwich, the YouTube channel. Well, 2020 has been the year lately, well, that was last year, that, well, everybody discovered Zoom and everybody was Zooming for all the sort of reasons that a pandemic makes you Zoom. Well, in 2021, people want to do better Zoom calls. So, right here, we have developed the ultimate Zoom setup. All right, starts with a laptop right here, okay? Then it goes to this nice little box, which is ATEM Mini, okay? The reason we use an ATEM Mini is because it's super straightforward with a USB-C. It just plugs right into your computer and it tells you, tells the camera, it tells the computer that, look, it's a USB camera. And if you have an awesome Sony FX9 right there, that will become your USB camera. But then you ask yourself, but wait a second, what's that in front of the, that camera? It's a teleprompter. So, because I have this monitor right here, right, and we have zoom up, you can see the people right there, and I'm looking them right in the eyes. Now, we need to have great audio, okay? And for great audio, I like to run two channels into a mixer, okay? And we have a boom up here, and we also have a lob and those two mics go through a mixer that have what we call low pass filter. It takes the AC sound out, cleans it up, and that's actually the sound advice 633. Is it overkill? Yeah, it's overkill. But you know what, when you're getting paid to do professional Zoom calls and really knock it out of the park and have professionals come over here and have executives come into your studio, you're gonna wanna give it the best <laughs> You're gonna wanna give it your best image quality that you can give. And that's why we use a Sony FX9 shot through a teleprompter with a Sound Advice 630, 633 sound mixer with um, this mic here, which is uh, a Countryman B6 with a Rose NT3, all the goods. Now, we get back to, well, how are they gonna hear you? IFB, little earpiece, nice right here in the ear. And if I put it on just right, you can't see it when it's in. And this will clip behind you right here just like the newscasters, and now you can hear everybody in the Zoom call, but you don't have your big headphones on. It's so many podcasts people do, big headphones, they go, oh, and you don't have any mics in the frame, which I don't know why that are caught on, but apparently if you wanna do a podcast, you gotta have the headphones and the big mic. You, you use earbuds. earbuds, yes, earbuds will work too. What about the wireless, like, AirPods? You could use those too, wireless AirPods you could use too. Um, this is nice just because it's great for the, um, Executive, they can just adjust their own volume. It's right here, we put it right on, plus it's what I had. Um, but you can use wireless as well. Um, and so once you have it all set up, you just set up the, the Zoom call. There's one more component to it, which is the um, monitor over there. Now that monitor is really a reference monitor that you can put slides on, the big monitor over there, um, or you can just switch up the windows. Now there's only one other thing that you need if you're going to run a PowerPoint through the teleprompter if you want to do a PowerPoint. You would need a box that flips the image because you can't flip the tele, you can't flip the PowerPoint because all, all your guests would see a flipped PowerPoint because with the, tele, with the teleprompter, the image is flipped, right? So you can go through a disseminator box, which I'll show in this cut of B-roll right now, and that will flip it for you. And then you have a great PowerPoint, but you also know that your other images will be flipped too. So behind me is a green screen that's perfectly lit, right, on the waveform from left to right, and it's great, okay? And you can tell Zoom to like, this thing keys out like a champ, like butter. It is beautiful. Lit with a bunch of 1Ks here. We got 4,000 watts of tungsten light, which is uh, full spectrum, not none of this LED stuff. We look old school hair at this studio. Yeah, because it's cheap, well, to buy, but to run, they cost some dollars of heat. But anyways, I digress. Uh, tungsten light, 1,000 watt there, 1,000 watt over here, 1,000 watt, 1,000 watt, 1,000 watt, like, like light on the green screen. Bam, old school 2K scoop right there. Beautiful front light, three quarter coming at you. And then because I'm lazy pants, these Kinos hanging on the wall, eh, they're in the studio. I flipped them on enough to give a little fill. So don't forget about lighting. Lighting's really important. You gotta have even lighting on your green screen and it just makes the whole Zoom sing and sound great. And uh, yeah, I think I've covered all the stuff for a great Zoom call. And uh, if you like it, like and share this. 
And if you have any questions, I guess you could ask them. We may answer them. Thanks, guys. Till next time. Hey, thanks for checking out the video today. If you like what you saw, go ahead and give us a little bit of a like there on the little thumbs up -y. And if you're really interested in seeing more from Film Sandwich, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're always updated every time we post a video. Also, we are currently an unsubscribed channel, so all the reviews here, everything that we do is all unpaid and comes out of our own pockets. So what we've done is we've put links to all the products that we review and use in our videos. And if you buy the products through those links, we get a little bit of ching ching so we can keep this channel going. So once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.